Thank you, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about other pointers. This is uh, uh, McKenney and Mira, uh, myself, and uh, Know that uh, atomic represents the issue, such as the issue, the scale, and especially when the number of the width is true, the price of the width is the atomic width, and the number of the width is the atomic and actually, we already have a person in kernel of the computer, which mostly has a few accounts. You can distribute the accounts into different institutions, and so you don't have a connection of the identity, which is similar to the identity. When you use ICU or you use a particular account, you try to do it compared to a pump. All right. This is a very high level comparison between our account, our personal account, and our So, you see that personal account and our account are double. I need to point out that the scale issue of the reference cannot be really easily overcome because only the issue when you have multiple rules down to acquire the reference at the same time. May not be the same case, may not be the case in your case. So, uh, so here, just try to, uh, if this is the usual, just try to uh, use the technology that can uh, have the case. And so, the memory will have uh, uh, the percentage of funds that not be very well because uh, if you have a percentage of funds, so when you have the number of CPU uh, uh, count to Thank you. 
and use the phone to press it into the And the method to update the phone, this is also as you can see, and that is the plan basically to determine that why the real so this is kind of the around the heart and throat. And this is a simple code of the algorithm for how to enter when the window tries to describe the different reverse count. It will first the window to enter and it will install value to a heart and throat. And it will issue the full memory value. And then it will return up the global point of life. And if the value doesn't change, it will return. And uh, assuming that the reference is not after that, we will restart how to find throughout and try to restart the available thing. All right. And uh, this is the result. It's basically the most of the It's very simple to say. And uh, this is the data. So the other guy tries to do things that uh, uh, this uh, we like to do with the other thing. So for first, um, know that what I'm doing is to uh, uh, really uh, free, and then it will unpublish that object. It will unpublish the object so that um, the object can reference the object in the future. And then it will issue a full memory back. And then it will check for each problem that whether there is a reader still on this object. And then still it will go to check for the flaws. Otherwise, you can check for other flaws. That is the other problem on the other side. Okay. So let's get into some things scenarios that. Uh, so to understand how the synchronization algorithm between the read and the object works. So this is uh, case number one. Uh, there's some diagram here. So initially, the global uh, pointer point to the object, and the hard point to the to nothing. And after we uh, install the hard point to the to the object, it will change the position here. And uh, Right after that, the update will actually um, change the global pointer to uh, no, we'll unpublish the global pointer, unpublish the global pointer. So it is not going to uh, exit because it's the global pointer doesn't quite allow to. And this is before the local do the second check. So uh, I remember now that local can do the local second check, actually, after all the object is gone. So it will go to the other branch with. Eventually, we will inside the hard uh, point slot, we get into the final state where both the, both the neither the hard point slot or the global pointer point to the object. So that can be free. Uh, this is just a good case. And this is the pretty interesting part of the simulation. So, uh, again, the real slot will be the global pointer and store that into the uh, other point. So we have to not point to the other And uh, when the, that's the thing that the other are going to change the output of the point. But before that, the, the, the other side do the second root. And uh, we assume that uh, it's going to provide output. And so if you have this, this output of the other point, it cannot reach the point until the root is gone. So after the uh, so this is the state of uh, when the thing will start the function to do. And also that, uh, since, so there is a synchronization here. So since the, this step four on the other side uh, does not observe the right of the uh, update, so it means that this does not happen after this. The read of the read of the book does not happen after the read of the update. So this is the uh, kind of ordering here. And since we have full memory here, so the, so the memory can kind of be 
and from uh, to him. So the smart means the start two of the wheel. I think it must happen before the start four of the upper means that the upper will come away from guaranteed the flow is having power by the group. So that means the the rule of the limit plot must be from the upper out of the plot being up. Alright? So I don't have any confusion about it. I can explain. Okay. So think that the wheel is all going to guarantee that one the hundred point of view uh acquired rightness that must be this is the synthesis uh the most important thing right now between the arbitrary and the degree. So after the after the we will eventually uh and the arbitrary will eventually uh so the people will be uh so I think no wait. So this is quite a bit the arbitrary to the rule of the uh change the slide into the group and if the group pointer is already not point to the object. And then uh, once the object is zero, the change of slot can be parallel. But the actual change of parallel is zero. Go ahead. Just to test if it can start to put in the room, that would be the picture of the case for the fall mechanism. LW articles about memory ordering in RCD. Uh, so it's a classic case where you have know, store to A, store to B, plus A with a barrier, or some current that are inherent to that. Yeah, the classic uh, stop buffer uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, all right. So this is basically a summary of how the quantum uh, uh, Need to read the 
and the from an FD to another FD, uh, but it, it should all be uh, depending on uh, Anyway, but uh, it should be fairly limited. Yeah, uh, you don't need uh, many you don't need many health pointers for the hospital. And you would have uh, 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 you need to use that to the same class. So, so I think that's what yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a terrible proposal, uh, which might be overly complicated with my but um, you could have like one slot or a couple slots for CPU, and then when, you, when your task gets scheduled out while you're holding a hazard pointer, you turn the hazard pointer into a ref count, you get a ticket out of the modifier. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure if that's a great idea or a terrible idea. I mean, it, I guess in general for people, this would be also the performance would potentially see how much improvement we would actually get. Yeah. On a touch pad right now, support two RC reps as a as a as a first step. Instead, we can bring it from even zero cost down. Yeah, but only. This morning, and Lena said, "Well, what case is one performance that can be so quick?" And I want to get to you guys to address as well because what makes it much better? But I think it's good to have a full comparison. It's simple, although I would have some questions for that later. It seems like it's something we can easily support. I just worry about some working interactions with the slab type by RCU. 
By the way, I think uh, Linus email can be a nice introduction for next year's presentation. Uh, I have a quick question about the updater. Uh, I think on the slide it says um, updater can have access to all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just curious, like how is it? So, uh, I, can, I will cover that in the next part, but basically it's it actually required for the updater to remove all the flaws because updater need to know that there is no existing reader for a particular update. So that's kind of a requirement of hard point implementation. And there's a, a guarantee that updater can do that. Otherwise, it seems to be the wrong thing. How do you parse the traversal with the pointer? So how do you say no uh, so it is still squaring to traverse the two other pointers? Um, I think this is a good question. I'm going to ask Paul because also it's actually going to be more so fun. Yeah. Good time. <laughs> so um, it would be pretty similar to what you do now.
we're not really talking about things like that. You're only acquiring reference every five times and you're putting your on that. But we still use the Linux kernel and we can continue in the first few months with that. So, for the people who count, it's a few things on the first few months with at least some things on the file. Um, and it's fast and scalable. Uh, have to have a good reference to the books. It's not on a story. Now, for a lot of cases, you know, if you're cutting down something, something for a year, it's not a practical book. But if you've got an 8-5 reference, you're going to have to go through that may not be the price you want to pay. And uh, also, uh, the more kind of money, we say, you know, what's your reference? We can't do that in the next time to go. You always want to ask people to say no in this case. Our business kind of things can say no. That's the next factor. So, um, so, uh, and uh, it's a two-way thing in both ways. So, the cool thing about our view is you can unconditionally go down there. And uh, it's, it's uh, very fast. It's, nothing can drop you forever. Okay, so that's the other thing you put it in an RC reader other than make it take more capital. Is that we still have to read all that stuff on every each and every piece of data in all of the kernel, no matter what throws or things that we can do with the module. All right? That's what the package means. That's what the package means. What it really means is it packs everything down and lets you go. Now, one of the things that they have in memory is that you can go back. If you go back and read it, you'll be able to track the memory back. The thing you get, the benefit you get from this painful, down to the next world, the benefit you get is that all of those pieces of memory finally in you are actually tied down. If you put memory, you can go and pop the burn up the CPU and feel something that's not actively being used by you. Uh, Hazard Brothers uh, is a bootstrap compiler. Uh, it has an SMPD and a reader that can help you. And that will tell you what to use, so if you can use the kernel. Um, the, the, some of the people who are dealing with it, I might, I might, I might. So if we do that, we'll have to do something. Uh, uh, the reference can cover some things right now. If you have been working with this writer for 10 years, does that make the machine work that long? No problem. Go for it. Right? Uh, if you get your uh, beyond 21 seconds, the kernel can get out of your work. If you're doing it, you're doing it. Android configurations, you get 20 milliseconds. Alright. Then finally, finally, we've got an RC CPU cell running faster than any CPU stuff in the night. Yeah. So, with RESCON, we can't use the sponsors for you. What is the impact of all the APIs as our point to the limited effort count? You can touch on that off the You got to get your answer. Well, I mean, a bit more than that, right? If you've got a limited number of slots, you start tying up your slot. And that's also a bit of a source of control. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You've got the additional book to book in. So it really actually does dynamic allocation that allows you to get new components for the vessel price you can choose to pay. As I recall, there's a worker trip and handling as a point for example. So you will be required to work as long as you are holding your hot to train. Can, uh, it's not actually used, but you want to do that because you're going to take the tool that's not you to do it. Anyway, we took a quick bit of time, and we still have some time to test the app and test the results. So let me do that. I have a couple of questions. No problem. Uh, so yeah, I have a question. Some people have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. So basically, there is a contact with the news, it's called Python Contact, which basically is a person for the Python stuff. And the other contact is that you need to turn out the news, so you can out from the table. And maybe, but since the other point that needs to take it out, and the other contacts are out of the box, then they can take the person with the party with the news. It's very simple. You just to ask the wizard to hold the hot pointer, the wizard to the memory, to the hot pointer, to the hot pointer. So it's the memory will be created by the wizard, and the wizard then can know it for sure, but it was already passed over there. So basically, so the wizard can be 
operation on have a point of contact is not a problem because it's only mostly like go up for a large context. And the reason we will have to act and it works well. And the uh memory section uh sadly and I can make a lot of the actual text lines so the context that involves the static. So this will be the idea of on contact. And like we have a point of contact in the how the point of contact will be like. So basically the user needs to initialize the contacts, the time as as many as contacts possible. And once the contact is initialized, you can also abstract from it. And when this movie is prepared on Jerry, we will do a kind of tribal type. And then if you like to give that to you, then we can have to connect the object here. And then eventually we will do the code, which quickly release the other point of drive. And the way current student will do it, current student will do the function. So, and then we are either trying to contact it or not, or the reason is pretty easy. And it's actually so with a possible internet network, but it's a kind of call as a point function, and basically we put the object in a list where you usually put it for that to go down and execute this for a function. This is roughly what the user is trying to do. And back to the last thing. In front of the details, so I'll start by the user need to start to understand that what the there's any existing rules for uh, uh, that object. So if we have uh, an object and an active class, the first n would be if we do the calculation uh, properly, then it will be it will be um, I'm I'm uh, I'm multiple uh, multiple n and the class five is there for multiple uh, class and a lot of objects and the other bit is in case that you use a different other thing so it's one of the rules but it's uh, introduced the uh, uh, case where you need to add a memory free memory because the memory uh, scan in the object class basically try to free and the add the memory, free the memory, and then we have to use the situation where we that kind of move forward because we don't have memory, we don't have the memory to add the free memory, so we don't want to work in front of, I think we don't want to do that in the beginning. So the solution is simple because the simple is to have the hardware point functions. We just make the hardware point out of code for every hardware. So basically, we can add three nodes into it, and we will stack out of the kind of point of uh, value. And when the update is done, we can use this uh, node to kind of create a snapshot of the slice and then to build up a update point. And then, uh, the, the, once the update um, is finished, then it it can use its tree to detect whether it's the initial state. So, yeah, so it's um, considering the root scan as part of the hardware point of contact with Lupa. And, uh, yeah, so it's actually we have the hash, and we also have a um, uh, different hash number on it. It's really solid on the with the size scalability, it depends if the state is similar to a uh, account and uh, it's still a little bit of a drop compared to a super RDU, but it has only one uh, as a one DO. And the other side, uh, since we try to cut out the update, so we can have to introduce some RDU object. So that we have to know number of objects. And also the other op uh, object is the Number of slots, which is really hard to uh, make uh, isolated. So basically, it's the uh, number of types of 
the store is depend on how many stores you have. I think my value is one point one. If you have, Kristen mentioned that if you have, uh, if you want to reference like one hundred objects, you need one hundred clouds. And but you the case is only uh, most of the I think that other point is that you only for us you only have like one or two maybe slots to you uh, access and that's the about four hundred pointer. So that in that case the number of hard is very low compared to uh to um reference. Okay, so I'll be detailed but I'm taking a part go ahead. What is the error that can be ordered by white support? Uh, it's ordered by the uh, pointer value of the object. So, yeah, address, yeah. So, it's only because you can do a quick search. You can scan, suppose, uh, scan all the measures, and then, uh, and when you uh, process, when you're processing the callbacks, you, 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 one by one, and try to see whether there is a thing we call that object in the tree. And if so, then you can break it. If you can break it, okay. So, yeah. So, has this patch changed that you migrated some particular kernel data structures to the hazard pointers? Uh, I have not. Okay. So, then what do you think, coming back to Paul's earlier observation, what is the right technology to pick? So, what is the what are the right data structures that we think really need as a point of They shouldn't use ours, they shouldn't use reference counters, they shouldn't be using as a point of I think Nira have some case uh, later. And for myself, I think that one of the things which we need to do, uh, sometimes we uh, need to provide the counts of a task. And uh, because maybe the task is um, uh, or something, and uh, the other one can check whether the owner or whether check the owner first. So owner's owner, president of the owner, and so uh, on. And uh, so in that case, maybe we can use that for task for the calculation without holding the reference count of, of task. That may be the Yeah, so that's, that's the, sorry. I have a question. Um, you, uh, so just if I'm using like rep count, uh, if I'm the last, you know, the, the thing that cleans up the office, the, the task that does the last book, right? Yeah, yeah. When it goes to zero, it's clean it up. Yeah. What actually frees the object in this case? If I hear the pointer, is there a kernel thread or something that comes along and scans things? I, I don't understand. So, yeah, so if you use the pointer, it will be similar as you ask you. So you will have some uh, delicate, uh, not delicate task, you will have some function which you know that the object you are going to, you are going to like remove this object and you have a function called a call on the pointer that will keep up a work queue and eventually that gets read by that work queue. But uh, this is different than normal hard point of normal rep on the user where you can, but just the last one reference that, for that. that's a different. So how to adjust that. Okay, and do I get it because that you expect basically like one context per task or, or possibly multiple contexts per task? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Let me handle it to the mirror. So I'm talking about the use case. Uh, it, in the next week, when it is done with App Armor in a very internal function, it's very different where that atomic contention is on the response. So, according to that, I will give an overview of Nginx and Amber. So, Nginx is a web server, and uh, what happens is it has a where you have a master thread with two calls and requests, and then it reports to the master thread. To optimize through the throughput is the number of concurrent uh, client requests in the system at one time. There's a single worker per CPU, and uh, each worker will handle a uh, particular client. So you have more throughput and you have more data. And now we are going to App Armor. So App Armor actually, uh, it imports a mandatory single layer 
every application has uh, a profile for it. So the profile can be that whatever the profile it is allowed to do, what all action it is allowed to do, changing the owner or bumping to a particular topic it is allowed. So application has a file, a file and what profile is loaded into the channel. And when let's say you open a file, the script call actually lands into our security uh, for uh, for app armor and that hook check for uh, that uh, access action is actually allowed by the profile. And to do that, uh, actually acquires a reference on the profile. Level. So the each profile has a uh, reference count associated with it and that is acquired by the uh, security hook. Now, this is how it looks. So what happens is, uh, so on the left side there are Nginx workers and these workers are trying to open a file. And on the right side, if you see, they, they land into the group of uh, farmer and they try to acquire the reference at the same time. On the same part of the profile of this product. Application. So this makes the atomic contention on a particular account which you work on. Now, what uh, we have done to try counter for this application is, uh, so there, there is a, a uh, call which has to acquire the reference count and what we do is so we do not replace all the reference count details for a local. We only modify this function with where we see the, the, most of the contention and uh, what we do is we instead of doing a get get and put to get and here we okay, create a hazard pointer context and allocate, allocate one context to the question one context with that particular and when that function is done we can get the context. So the context is the boundary of the context is within that function which is hot path of your uh, app armor. Then file. This is the right thing to do in this case. Is it the small critical section? Why don't you protect it with RCB rather? So, to so protect it using RCB, uh, I hope we can do that, but uh, that is correct. We can do there, but then we have to wait for the entire synchronous RCB for the uh, function to come so Maybe that is possible, but we have to try whether uh, it uh, gets more overhead on the update of that. I was just pointing out that you might want to uh, promote uh, the other pointers to uh, recount if you use a longer time. Right. Okay. Okay. So, when you run it on the report, what do you see uh, uh, on the first line with KRAF enabled, when you compare it working with the farmer disabled, we see learn from the recent improvement on the process. And hazard pointer replacing the KRAF usage within that function, we saw a 7.4% improvement on the